This is the largest lake in Central Asia, which spans around 65 kilometers in length from east to west. Today, we take a closer look at Lake Balkash in East Central Kazakhstan. Welcome to Earth from Space. Lake Balkash's size varies depending on water balance, with its area fluctuating from around 15,000 square kilometers to 19,000 square kilometers. Jutting out into the lake is the Saramsek Peninsula, which divides Balkash into two separate hydraulic parts. The west part is wide and shallow, with its water on the side particularly fresh and suitable for drinking. The east part, on the other hand, is narrow and relatively deep, with its waters on this side of the basin brackish and salty. The two parts of the lake are united by a narrow strait, the Uzi Naro, visible in the center of the image, with a depth of around 6 meters. The sediment plume passing through the strait is most likely due to waves stirring up sediments from the bottom of the lake. This has led to a higher reflection and thus a brighter water color in this part of the lake. The north banks of Lake Balkash are high and rocky, while the south banks are low and sandy, with wide belts covered with thickets of reeds and numerous small lakes. These low-lying banks are periodically flooded by the waters of the lake. A high presence of sea ice can be seen in bright blue greenish colors especially near the southern shoreline. This color is due to ice having a higher reflectance in the visible parts of the spectrum than in the near infrared. Balkash usually remains frozen from the end of November to the beginning of April, with this image captured on the 29th of November 2021. South of Balkash lies the Sariesik Atayaru Desert, which stretches for around 400 kilometers in East Kazakhstan. There are a great number of small lakes, ponds and wetlands in the desert, visible in brown, as well as occasional grasslands that support a varied animal and bird population. Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission to supply the coverage and data delivery needed for Europe's Copernicus program. The mission's frequent revisits over the same area and high spatial resolution allow changes in water bodies to be closely monitored. <laughs> 